it's so early in the morning. But Chan, seriously, what do you want me to do here? Oh, come on, I need your help. What? What's wrong? Okay, I need your help because mm -hmm. I broke one of my favorite mugs. And oh. I think that here in Bataan, I can either buy a new beautiful mug or make one myself, right? Oh yeah, it still has been a long time since the last time I came here. So oh. I will be very excited to buy a new cup for you and for me too. Yay! Also, apparently this place has got a beautiful and amazing history. So yeah. I'm excited to learn about that too. Yep, so maybe me, you and our audiences we can be together and learn about making a pottery mm -hmm. and also about the history of making all the pottery, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. So, Lizo, this is a place where you can find a very old and big look Lottery, pottery guild in here. I've never seen a, a big pottery kiln before. You will find it out now. So are there many kilns like this in Bachang? So as far as I research, this kiln is actually the oldest and the biggest kiln in Bachang, the only one left. Wow. So well, what's happening now? So there is to be like 20 kilns like this in Bachang, mm -hmm. but after the development, the advanced technology, mm -hmm. and this is the only one left and also the oldest one in right. the oldest village of making pottery. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Yeah. There is actually a ladder over there and we can climb on and look closer into the queue. No way, I'd love that. Yes, like look at the architecture, right? Okay, great. Yeah. The ladder we go, up the ladder we go. Wow. You are so brave. Oh, oh. Can we hold the ladder for you? Yes, please. Okay. And we need to put in a bit of extra effort mm. to see how awesome this, this is. This is very, very long. Up here. Right. Wow. Jeez. Okay, so this is around 100 years old. Mm. You know, I wanted to talk about this. So this looks like quite a traditional material for a kill, right? Yeah, they, and they, will, they still keep the traditional style of building the kill. They just right. use the normal brick, you see? Right, right. I think this brick is used to keeping the heat inside. Wow. For the pottery, right, and so baking the pottery it needs to be at a high heat for a long time. Oh, so there is actually baking. I don't see. I don't know the difference between the oven and the kill, ah, okay. or roasting or baking. <laughs> it's making food. Right, right. But mm. we call it baking mm. in a kiln for pottery, oh. but we make food in an oven. Oh, so, so that's the it's different. Already, right, right, mm. right. Yeah. So this is very specific for. Um, for bricks and pottery and um, earthenware, things like that. Oh, so that's the difference between the kiln and the oven, which Correct. the kiln is to bake the pottery and oven is to making food. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. I learn something every day, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so this is a great, it's amazing how mm. high it is. I was expecting it to be on the ground, but it goes from high, high up and low down. So in the big kiln like this, you can actually make a very huge amount of pottery right. for trading, right? Right. So imagine. that's why they have to use a very the biggest kiln. Of course, because Bacheng mm. uh, trades a lot of pottery, right? Mm, like 700 years ago already. Wow. Mm. So 100 years ago, they used to use this pot, this kiln, pottery kiln, mm -hmm. to mainly produce the pottery for trading. Ah, like, okay. yeah. So they must have produced like a huge amount of pottery in this big kiln. Do they always just make pottery or do they used to bake something else? I think they, they always they also used to make bricks to build a castle for the king. Like, oh cool. Yeah, it's like a, a long time ago. Lisa, look at all the plants. <laughs> it's so interesting, right? Do, what do you see it? Is it ponds in the lotus? I have no idea what to use this for. <laughs> it's such a creative way of doing things, right? Yeah. And Brilliant. by the way, for the advanced technology, all the pottery is mass produced and you can see it everywhere. Right. Mm. Yeah. You know, since mass production, it's pretty typical that things become ubiquitous. Ubiquitous? What yeah. does that word mean? <laughs> Ubiquitous is just like a fancy word for common. Mm, you know, to make. it's quite true. I do see this pottery all over Vietnam, 
and I'm pretty sure I've seen some of it in other parts of the world as well. Oh, so I think with the mass production and the Vietnamese can now export all these products all over the world to other to another countries too. I love, I love that. Yeah, and so all all over the world, so people will know about the pottery it's making in Vietnam wow. and all these fancy products. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think the world is grateful to receive such mm. beautiful pottery out of Vietnam. So we've seen how it's made, mm. and now I'd love to look at some finished goods. Look at the little pig. It's so <laughs> cute. Oh my gosh. With the yellow and the, all the flowers. Yeah. I don't really know what this is, but it's also kind of cute. <laughs> it's a boy. Right. Holding something. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Oh, so I think there will be more Pernes product inside. So you want to go and check it out? Sure. Yeah, let's go. Lisa, come and check it out. Look Whoa. at all the fancy products. That is really fancy. Oh. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh, it's a fish. Yeah, I, I think, think so. I think back in the day, mm -hmm. all these things is actually handcrafted. Right. Yeah, so that's why it was, it was very expensive and it's only for the wealthy people to afford it. Right. Mm, look at this thing, comparing to that, this one is not looking very luxurious. Mm, no, mm. but I think that's quite cool that because of mass production and things, industrialization mm -hmm. of the products, now these things are suitable for daily use and yeah. more people are able to afford these products and you know, I think that's really cool. Introducing to you guys, it is our professional craftsman mm -hmm. for pottery. Mm -hmm. So she would teach us how to do the potters. Mm -hmm. So Lizzo, are you excited of doing this? Uh, <laughs> of course, I'm super excited. But to, it seems that we mm -hmm. are sharing one of these. Yes, we so are. please don't mess it up. What are you talking about? I'm so skillful no, here. No, no, no. <laughs> the skillful person here is the potter. He's yes. going to teach us how to do this. You're right. right. She's the one who's skillful. So we are just amateur, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Dip a little bit into the water. Yes. And press it. You have to Spin press it. What do you call this? A potter's wheel? Potter wheel, it potter's is. Wheel, the potter right? wheels. Right. And you spin it. It seems like we have done the hardest part <laughs> already. <laughs> push it to make the figure, I think. Whoa, so. and pushes it right in. Wow. Cool. It's so perfect. Right yeah. in the middle, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, right, right. right. Okay. The cup first, she was okay. making the cup. Cool. So you have to carefully put it in the middle right. and then raise it on right. in the shapes. Oh, she's making a heart shape in the heart shape. Wow. Oh, it's so simple. And it's like she makes it like constantly, very mm -hmm. flexible, you know, like a heart shape and then a lace. So it will be bigger in the middle part and then smaller in the top. So she, she will cut the uneven part like to make it more even. Yep, so you use it. So that the top is completely straight? Yep. So the top will be completely even. So amazing, right? The sponge. Oh, she will use a sponge to take the water out. So there will be water in that. So she oh. wants to keep it dry. She will use a sponge. Mm -hmm. Watching her making it, she's very exquisite, right? So she say that with her finger, mm -hmm. she will she will make all the parts inside here looking like that. Just yeah. just only hot handcrafted can do that. So. Watching her making the potter is actually enthralling. Totally. Yeah. And she said to me, do you want to change from this bowl into a dish? You want to try making it? Yeah, absolutely.
So Lisa, we just finished our product. How do you feel now? <laughs> uh, I think I've had quite a special experience here, mm -hmm. learning about the beautiful history and products that Vietnam has been making for centuries. I love oh. that. But guess what? That's all the time we have for this uh, this gorgeous experience. And yeah. thank you to the call here today for showing us yeah. to do that. <laughs> But we'll see you guys in the next episode of Street VN. We are coming back with more interesting episode, right? right. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.